Are you looking for training in artificial intelligence? Do you want to transform ChatGPT into your personal assistant? Pacta Learning offers AI and automation training modules for both professionals and individuals at very affordable rates. Benefit from Pacta's expertise in publishing and teaching complex subjects. Visit the Pacta website under the Artificial Intelligence section and subscribe to the AI training. Pacta offers a course aimed at deepening your knowledge to use AI both in your daily life and in your professional activity to save time and increase efficiency. Learn to generate high-quality content. Unlock the revolutionary power of artificial intelligence with ChatGPT and other AI tools and transform your productivity and business. This training is intended for beginners who have limited knowledge of AI and particularly of ChatGPT. Hey there. You've clearly asked for the AI deep dive, so you're already ahead of the game. It seems like every entrepreneur I talk to is trying to navigate this world of the next big thing, and right now, AI is at the top of that list. Yeah, and it's no surprise, right? There's so much buzz around AI. But let's cut through all the hype for a second. Exactly. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. What's actually useful for your business? Mm -hmm. At its core, it's about machines mimicking human intelligence. Okay, so not robots taking over the world. Huh, not quite yet, at least. It's really about achieving specific goals. So how does that actually work? Give me an example. Think about it. When Google seems to magically know what you're searching for, or Netflix recommends a show, you end up binge watching. Oh, right. That's AI in action, stuff you're already using every day. So it's not some distant future thing, it's already here. But how does that translate to running a business? Is AI about to write my marketing plan for me or something? We're not quite there yet, although AI marketing tools are getting pretty impressive. I bet. The real game changer for entrepreneurs is how AI can automate all those tedious tasks that eat up your time. Oh, tell me more about that. Imagine analyzing tons of data in seconds instead of days, or having customer service inquiries handled automatically. More time and mental energy. Now you're speaking my language. Exactly. It frees you up to focus on the strategic decisions that really matter. That's what it's all about, right? Speaking of resources, we came across Elaine Stevens and his Pacta Business courses. Oh yeah, I've heard of him. He's been in the strategy and computer science world for over 25 years, and now he's offering practical AI training tailored specifically for entrepreneurs. Makes sense. He's definitely got the experience. He covers everything from using AI for SEO and generating content to, you guessed it, automating those essential but time-consuming tasks. It's smart what he's doing. These AI skills are essential now, not just a nice to have. You wouldn't open a bakery without knowing how to bake. Exactly. To thrive in this digital world, entrepreneurs have to leverage these AI tools. It's about having the right tools for the job. Now, while we're talking AI and business, there's this quote that really stuck with me. Putin said, whoever becomes the leader in AI will become the ruler of the world. Wow, that's a bold statement. Is that just political grandstanding or is there some truth to that? It definitely highlights how important AI is on a global scale. Yeah, it's not just some tech industry trend anymore. But before we get lost in a global AI arms race, let's focus on what matters to you as an entrepreneur. Okay, mom all ears. What's the takeaway for someone running a local coffee shop or an online store? What's in it for them? That's the million dollar question, right? It boils down to understanding that you don't need to be a tech genius to benefit from AI. Right, it shouldn't be some exclusive club. Think about all the data your business generates every single day. Oh man, don't get me started. Website traffic, customer purchases, social media engagement, it can be completely overwhelming. Exactly. And that's where AI comes in. Okay, so it helps make sense of it all. It can help you make smarter decisions based on that data instead of drowning in spreadsheets. Okay, now that's something I think every entrepreneur can get behind. Imagine using AI to pinpoint your most profitable customer demographic or anticipate market shifts just from your sales data. Now that's what I'm talking about. That kind of insight can make or break a business. It's like having a secret weapon, right? One that helps you see what's coming before it happens. It's true. And it's not just about understanding the data, but using it to take action. AI can personalize your marketing, automate your emails, even predict what customers might do next. Sounds like a dream come true for any entrepreneur who's strapped for time. But honestly, all this AI stuff still feels a bit overwhelming. Where do I even begin? Totally get it. It's a common feeling. 
But hey, remember Elaine Stevens in those Pack to Business courses? Oh, right. He breaks down some of those starting points, doesn't he? He does. He shows entrepreneurs how to use AI for things like SEO, crafting really targeted ad campaigns, even handling those customer service interactions. The stuff that takes up so much time. It's like he's giving you the cheat codes for this new AI world. Kind of, yeah. And the best part, you don't need to become a coder to use these tools. A lot of them are designed to be really user-friendly. That's a relief. So it's not about replacing human intuition. It's more like using AI to enhance what we already do. Exactly. AI can analyze and find those hidden patterns. But you, the entrepreneur, that's where the strategic thinking and creativity come in. Right. Like AI can help me schedule social media posts, but it's my voice that will resonate with my audience. Exactly. It can analyze your website traffic, but it's your vision that creates that compelling brand experience. So it's not about AI taking over. It's about AI empowering entrepreneurs. Couldn't have said it better myself. Mm -hmm. And the sooner you jump in, the faster you can use it to your advantage. Get that competitive edge. Now, with all this talk about AI being a game changer, what are some misconceptions you hear? What are people afraid of? One big one is that AI is only for huge companies with tons of money. Right, that it's not accessible to the little guy. Exactly. But actually, there are more and more affordable AI tools out there designed specifically for smaller businesses. We talked about Elaine Stevens's courses, but there's other stuff too, right? Absolutely. Free resources, online communities, even AI platforms with free trials. So you can try before you buy. Exactly. It really levels the playing field, gives everyone a chance to compete in this new landscape. I love that. It's like the wild west of tech out there. It is. But in a good way. There's this sense of opportunity, but I think another fear is that AI is changing so fast. It's true. It's evolving constantly. So it's hard to keep up. What do you say to those who are worried about investing time in something that could be outdated tomorrow? That's fair. It can feel intimidating, but think of it like learning to use a smartphone. People aren't afraid to do that. Exactly. Yeah. A newer model comes out all the time, but the basics stay the same. Right. You learn the foundation and then you adapt. Exactly. It's about building that understanding of how AI works and then staying curious, trying new tools, and evolving as the technology does. Makes sense. Okay, before we wrap up, let's go back to those practical takeaways for our listeners. Good idea. We've covered a lot. We have. So for someone just starting out with AI, what's the most important dice you can give? I'd say, first, don't be afraid to just try things out. There are so many AI tools available, many of them free or really affordable. Love that. Hands-on learning. What else? Focus on the problems you need to solve. Don't just get caught up in the hype. What are your specific challenges? Then look for AI tools that can help you address them. So let your business needs guide you. Exactly. Whether it's automating social media or understanding your data, start with a problem first. Problem first, then tech. Okay, I like it. And lastly, never stop learning. The world of AI is always changing, so there's always something new to discover. Stay curious, stay informed. Attend those webinars, read those articles. Yes, take a course, whatever works for you. Just make learning a part of your routine. It's about staying ahead of the curve, right? Like you said, AI is not going anywhere. Exactly. And the more you learn now, the more prepared you'll be for whatever comes next. So those entrepreneurs who embrace it now will have a head start. Absolutely. Think of it as an investment, not just in technology, mm -hmm. but in the future of your business. Love that. OK, before we wrap up this deep dive, let's circle back to those practical takeaways one last time. Sounds good. Let's do it. We've covered a lot of ground, but if you had to pick the three most important things for entrepreneurs to remember about AI, what would they be? OK, three things. First, just start. Don't overthink it. Dive in. Experiment with different AI tools. A lot of them have free trials, right? Exactly. Try things out. See what works for you. Hands-on experience is always the best teacher. It is. The second thing is to focus on your goals. What are you trying to achieve in your business? Don't just use AI for the sake of using AI. Right. Let your business needs guide your exploration. Look for AI solutions that address your specific challenges. So if you're struggling with social media, find an AI tool to help with that. Exactly. Start with the problem, then find the AI solution. Makes sense. OK, what's number three? Never stop learning. The world of AI is constantly evolving, so make it a habit to stay updated. Attend webinars, read industry blogs. Exactly. Take courses, join online communities, whatever works for you. Just keep learning and growing. Because what works today might not work tomorrow. Exactly. AI is all about adapting and evolving. Great advice. Experiment, focus on your goals, and never stop learning. 
I think those are three takeaways that any entrepreneur can take to heart. Absolutely. And remember, AI isn't just for the tech giants, it's for everyone. It's about empowering entrepreneurs to achieve more. Exactly. And who knows what incredible things we'll be able to achieve with AI in the years to come. It's an exciting time to be in business. A huge thank you to our expert for this incredible deep dive into the world of AI for entrepreneurs. And to our listeners, thank you for joining us. Until next time, keep innovating and we'll keep you ahead of the curve. With Pacta Learning, Alain Stevens offers a range of dedicated online courses under the name Pacta Business, specially designed for entrepreneurs and business leaders. These courses focus on key skills such as the use of artificial intelligence, SEO, content generation, and automation, all essential for propelling a business in the current economic landscape. The goal of Pacta Business is to provide practical and accessible tools to develop your business while remaining affordable and engaging. With over 25 years of experience in strategy and computer science, Alan Stevens brings a depth of knowledge and a strategic perspective to each training module, ensuring that every participant can maximize these learnings to innovate and excel in their field. Okay, so we're diving into AI today, but like not in a let's build a Terminator kind of way, you know, more like how's this stuff actually going to affect us and what can we do with it? We've got some interesting stuff to unpack, a report on AI trends worldwide, this training course description that really caught my eye, and then this AI skills FAQ thing, almost like it's answering questions we would ask. Speaking of questions, this first source, it's painting a picture of AI just exploding globally. And one thing that keeps popping up is like this datification of everything. Kind of creepy when you say it like that, right? But it's true. Every click, every purchase, it's all becoming data points. And I'm not even just talking about those weirdly specific ads you get, though that's part of it. We're talking self-driving cars actually navigating traffic, algorithms helping doctors spot diseases way earlier. It really is mind-blowing, the sheer scale of it all. And what's interesting is this source points out how much of it's driven by Silicon Valley, which makes you wonder... Is that a good thing? Should just one region or a few big companies even have so much power over something as world changing as AI? Or are we going to see other models popping up like governments getting more involved or research institutions? This source doesn't give us all the answers, but it definitely brings up stuff worth thinking about. So we've got this whole AI landscape, right? Pretty wild stuff. But then the question becomes, OK, how do we actually learn this stuff? That's where this next source comes in. It's for this AI training course. But it's not like those generic be an AI master things. This one gets super specific, like using AI to write better marketing stuff or even get this composing music. And they actually break down how it works. Imagine you could analyze like thousands of successful marketing. You can't figure out what sticks or have AI translate your musical ideas into actual songs. That's the key, isn't it? All that data we talked about is useless unless we can actually do something with it. Sounds like this course is all about bridging that gap, taking AI from this abstract concept to like everyday tools anyone can use. What I find really interesting is this could be the future of education, right? Super focus, efficient learning with AI as your guide. Now that's something I'd sign up for. Okay, so big picture AI, check. Learning practical skills, check. But where do you fit into all of this, right? Like what can you actually do right now? This last source, it's kind of like our cheat sheet for that. It's like someone overheard us geeking out. It was like, hold on, let me give you the spark notes. It covers all those questions. AI jobs out there, how to even start learning this stuff, even if you barely know how to turn on a computer. And of course, free resources, because not all of us are made of money, right? And get this, they mentioned this example, the Finnish government's offering this free online AI course to like their, an entire population, a whole country learning about AI. That's wild. It's such a different approach from that Silicon Valley thing we were talking about earlier. Like Finland's making it about everyone being in on it, not just the tech elite. It makes you think, right? AI literacy, it's becoming essential, almost like knowing how to use the internet. So if everyone's getting up to speed, what's going to set you apart? That is the million dollar question. And on that note, we're going to have to wrap up this deep dive. We've gone from global AI domination to composing sympathies with algorithms, even found you guys a free course to get started. So go forth, learn some cool stuff, and who knows, maybe you'll be the one teaching us about the next big thing in AI.